Hello and welcome back to another Higher Mathematics video where we're going to be looking at another topic in differentiation. Today we're going to be looking at stationary points and how we can work out stationary points using differentiation. So in our last video on working out whether a curve is increasing or decreasing, we said that a curve was increasing more strictly increasing if the derivative of the curve with respect to x is greater than zero and we said that it was decreasing if the derivative with respect to x at a point x was less than zero. Well what if the case were the derivative of the curve at a point x or just the derivative is equal to zero? Well, in this case, the curve is neither increasing or decreasing. So in this case, we know that it must have something to do with the curve being stationary. So we're working with stationary points. Say we have a curve, we have a point here, the tangent at this point, which is very poorly drawn, uh, is going to be just a straight line parallel to the x-axis. So we can work out then we can work out stationary points if the derivative of the curve is equal to zero. So we'll say if the derivative of a curve we'll call it f dashed x and we'll say is equal to zero and we'll also say or dy by dx um, is equal to zero, we would say that the curve is stationary at these points. So we'll say at the point, and we can work out the gradient of the tangent to the curve because it will simply just be zero. So we can solve by finding f dashed of x is equal to zero and I'll show you what we mean by this. So if we visualize the four possible stationary points we can see that the stationary points are either going to be the turning point of our curve and we talked about this in our um, topic in National 5 on curves. As we can see we have this curve here and we can see we have a maximum stationary point which is just the turning point of the curve and the tangent at this point will have gradient zero as we said in our straight lines topic the all horizontal lines will have gradient zero so we can see that by this and we have the minimum uh, turning point the stationary point is just going to have gradient zero as we can see by the tangent at this point then we have horizontal points of inflection so if we have a curve that looks something like this, we have the stationary point here and it's called the point of inflection because it's basically when it gets to this point, the curve reflects or inflects and it goes straight up for there. So it's where it changes direction. So this stationary point here is going to have gradient zero and then we have a falling one as well. So basically a stationary point's nature is determined by the behavior of the graph to its left and right. However, we're not going to do this until the next video.